haven't used these things in 20 years. Absolutely. Yeah, um, honestly, a lot. And, and I never knew um, doing broadcasting would like open your eyes to that. I did a little bit of um, some college games, female college games, but this is a whole new level. And just like seeing the scheme, seeing their um, rotations, their, uh, the things they do to change it up in a game um, was awesome. And I hope that I can, I can bring that knowledge um, and kind of that experience of watching it onto this team and even texting uh, Diana the other night about the Suns game. It's like, eh, they didn't do blank, blank, and blank. And she goes, see, you're starting to apply. So I might be blonde, but I, you know, I'm growing too. So it's good. Uh, to win, honestly, um, to do whatever it takes uh, to win a championship. And I know that's one day at a time and that's um, training camp tomorrow. Um, but for me personally, uh, shoot the ball. I, I want to be one of the top 10 um, three-point shooters in the league, and I think I'm more than capable. Uh, but for me, it's um, just growing, growing, getting better every single day. And I think that if you have that mindset and you have a growth mindset um, collectively, uh, I think that you're going to be in a sitting pretty at the end of the season. Yeah, I'm not that old. <laughs> you said you just want to get better and better. Yeah. Coach said something about these are gone. How do you how do you emphasize that? How does that make you feel knowing that that's fresh every year has led you to being having that spot? Yeah, um, you know, I will say it's not always easy, right? Your first my first two, three years was very up and down, but um I got in every single day. I tried to get better every single day and I had to stay ready. You never know when your number is going to be called. And when my number is called, um, I did the best that I could. But I stayed here this off season. I think um coming off the second half of the season I had last year was motivating. Um and I knew it was inside of me all along. I think it's the tip of the iceberg for me. And so uh this off season I worked on my game a lot, like a, a lot, a lot. And um I, I do believe that when you put that work in, the ball doesn't lie. Um, of course, you're going to have up and down games, up and down quarters, whatever. Uh, but I think across the board, um, I'm prepared, I'm ready, um, and I'm excited for games. I'm so tired of playing the same people, to be honest. So I'm ready for it. Don't think about it. Um, I think last season, uh, so many things that that happened amongst our team that um, I think everyone knows about. Uh, but for me, it's it's a new year. Like it, it's a new energy. It's a new vibe. And for me, I don't take this for granted. I get to dribble a basketball for a living. I get to shoot a orange ball and put in the hoop. And so um, I, I think that's a pretty awesome job. And um, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to have my platform. And uh, I'm blessed to have my platform. And so if you have that that mindset going into every single day, um, you know, you, you got to be that, that's part of being a dog, you got to bring that same energy, you got to own your role. And, and that's my role is being bubbly, being a great teammate. Um, there are a couple elbows, you know, so it's fine. So now having that back line defensively, yep. what do you think as far as the bottom of this? Huge. I mean, just having her presence not even on the court is massive. When she walks into the building, everyone's like, ah, you know, B's here. And um, it's refreshing. We, we've missed that. But of course, when you have one of the best uh, bigs in the whole world and they, they have your back, especially when you're, you're guarding quick guards, I mean, of course, you're going to feel a comfort level. Um, and not only on the defensive end, but also on the offensive end. You know, she's a threat. She's huge. Um, and for me, I it's going to be an up and down season. You know, she hasn't played in a year. Uh, but just to have her here, I think it's just um, not just for our team, but across the league, it's just a good vibe. And, and we're just happy that she's back. Honestly, um, she hasn't skipped a beat. Like she's still B, she's still doing B things. And uh, for me, it's just like getting in shape 
you know, but we all need to get in game shape. And so, uh, I think you guys will be really impressed with where she's at. And I'm telling you, she, she looks the same. And, and even when she got back, like the first time I saw her, it was like still BG. I'm like, why do you still have this vibe about you? I love it, but are you okay? Um, but no, I, I am super proud of where she's at. I'm proud where she's at mentally and emotionally, um, and, and physically. And so for me, it's just loving on her. Um, and you guys will get to see her play real soon. Yeah, I don't think it's rocket science. I think when when teams um, get along and love each other outside the court and you have that bond, your chemistry on the court is just going to be even more tighter. And that's exactly uh, kind of what we've been lacking the past couple of years. And so um, it's it's kind of been my responsibility to, you know, have the team dinners, have the team bonding. And it doesn't have to be the typical team bonding, like just go enjoy each other. And um, so far we've been doing that. And uh, the first couple of days of training camp have been awesome. The best since I've been here. And um, I know that everyone thinks Phoenix is kind of like this, but this is a whole new year. We have a new vibe and we all actually love each other. And I think part of that is having BG back and she was a big piece of, you know, that missing puzzle last year. You too. Picking back off of Elias' question about leadership, he spoke Sunday and talked about how your leadership has improved since you've been with the team. What, in your opinion, is a good leader for this team? Great question. Um, I think it's someone. Well, when you have goats like Diana and BG you know, they, they have their own type of leadership, like naturally you're going to follow them. But I think that I can, I can be vocal. I can help people out. I can bring um, the the rookies along and help them so that we're 11 strong. Uh, for me, it's about being that dog uh, leading by example. Uh, but for me, I just have a, a different aura about me. I really did put in a lot of work. Um, my teammates and my coaches have a lot of confidence in me. Um, and naturally that's just going to make you become a, a great leader when you know that your people believe in you. And so I just want to instill that in every single one of my teammates, even D, even though she's the goat, I still want to be like, Hey, shoot that. You know, we, we believe in you do that. And, um, I think just staying in my lane and owning my role is, is a good leader for this team. Go to a few Zoom questions, Maggie. Hi, Sophie. Um, I have two, two ones, a quicker question. One, what are you cooking at these team dinners? And, uh, or, or if you're not, it's fine. Um, and then what, what do you see as your role this season? Um, first question, I don't cook. Um, <laughs> so we, we do take out team pays for it too. It's nice. Um, and I don't even know what your second question was. Cause I didn't know what to say to your first question. So what was it? Um, it was, it was, what do you see as your role on the court this season and how are you growing to meet that role? Yeah. Um, I think being a shooter, shoot the ball, shoot the three ball, be a threat. Every time I get the ball, um, I've worked a lot on my mid range game. I've worked a lot on coming off pick and rolls, um, defensively, uh, you know, just getting stronger. And I, I've, I'm confident in that. And I think I'm going to keep growing in it because I'm putting the work in the weight room. I'm changing my diet <laughs> And, um, you know, I, I just believe in myself. Uh, and I think that if I get better every single day, stack the days, then naturally you're just going to be where uh, you're supposed to be. And so um, for me, it's just being a shooter and being a threat every time I catch the ball. This is Rafi Kuna to put this post. So I got a question. Um, what, what are your thoughts about the type of offseason that the Facebook we have from having BG back to – the Mercury adds some new pieces in Mariah Jefferson and Michaela on your way to AT team. And what will that do for this team's offense going into the season? Uh, just to clarify, you asked what uh, Mo is going to do for our team. Yeah, I'm asking you, like, what do you overall, what do you, how, how good is it to have BG back on your team oh. and your overall thoughts on Mariah Jefferson and Michaela on your way to being added to the team and what, what Vanessa Nygaard is trying to put together going into the season? Yeah, I mean, it's great to have uh, BG back. Um, I think she's going to be big for us. I mean, she's six, nine, she's one of the best post players in the whole world. And so who wouldn't want to have her on her team, on your team? Um, I think Mo has done a phenomenal job. Um, we actually click very well together. She's fast she and get to the rim. She sees the court really well. Um, and she's, she's just a good person. She's, she's a great teammate. And I think that's super important. That's the culture that Vanessa and Jim, 
um, and Matt Ishbia are trying to build here. We're trying to be an elite program. It doesn't happen overnight, but I think they're making uh, the right steps in order to get there. And so um, I think everyone's doing a great job, uh, but I really do uh, look forward to playing with Mo. Jennifer Forty, let's stop Hi, Jennifer Porti from Let's Talk Women in Basketball podcast. I wanted to know what are your expectations for this season and what are your personal goals? Um, I want to win. I want to win. I think that last year was just so um, up and down with injuries, uh, with um, drama, with things that are not basketball related. And so for me, it's just staying focused on the task at hand. Um, everyone has stuff going on in their lives, but you got to show up to work and be a professional. And, um, I think that's exactly what this group has. I think for me, uh, I'm just looking forward to, um, continuing how I left off last year and I'm excited just for the, the new roster that we have this year. Last question will be Sean Schultz, WNBA Swish. Hi, Sophie, Sean Schultz, WNBA Swish. How has it felt just from a basketball perspective to be able to hoop with DG again, just have that energy and that vibe? And how do you think that's going to translate into the season? It feels so good. Me and B kind of goof around sometimes, especially um, since she's been back this off season. Sometimes we get in a little bit of trouble because we goof around too much, but um, the vibes are just immaculate and, and she's just in a, a good headspace. I think everyone's in a great headspace and um, just being able to play with her and see her just enjoying basketball and loving where she's at uh, has just been um, super fun to watch. And it's kind of been putting all of us at peace, seeing be in a good headspace. Done. Good. Bye guys. Have a good one.